Now, my engine. <laughs> um, I said originally, didn't I, that, you know, I wanted to do it and I wanted to make my own spark plug in case anyone asked and said I've put another spark plug in. Well, not really, ever. Anyway, I also said, I didn't think it would last long, and I also said, if you remember, if I'm going to take it and show it to people, it has to be reliable. So we've got to modify it because the plug's failed. I just tried it the other day, I haven't started it for a week or two. By the way, I'm in my back hall, it might echo a bit, and the light's not that good. But uh, the reason being, it's blooming cold here. We've got what they're actually calling the beast from the east coming. It's a Siberian wind. And it's got to be around or below freezing this week. Um, anyway, I've, as I said as well, the way to do this, to make it reliable, is to put a uh, spark plug in the head. And that's what I'm hoping to do. And I've ordered one. Now, I've got to wait for it to come, of course, and I'm not 100% sure if it's small enough. Um, that's the thing. I don't know. Anyway, oh, I need my glasses. I've got a little tiny screw to undo. Because I, uh, I put a, well, you know, a chocker block fastener on my plug. Anyway, just for fun today, I was just thinking, because I think what's happened is it seems to be the electrode that's failed because it ran, but it didn't run my plug. So I'm just taking the head off, well, simply because I'm curious. <laughs> you know, and we've got it, it's a toy, isn't it? So let's have a play. So I've just got to pull the head off quickly. And uh, again, and we'll see. And what it is, I was just thinking today, well, again, as I say, just for something to do, if it is the electrode that's failed, which it seems to be, not the insulation, because as I say, it still runs, but it doesn't I mean to plug the door, it stops. Which it hasn't got to do. So, oh, poor old thing. So anyway, what I'm going to do, take the head off and we'll have a look. And I'm just thinking, I've got those other plugs, so I've cut one up and I've made the electrode out the centre of the plug. Because if it's the electrode that's gone, well that of course will stand it. So we're just going to have a look at that. So it's, it won't be long. But uh, now, I'll tell you what else has changed. I've told a lot of people this. And it's very interesting actually. Um, I've got plenty of video of this running, as I think you know. And uh, so you've seen it run as I have on video. But when you see it in real life, it's different. And I can't explain it. Not, I can't really explain it, I can only tell you. Anyway, I've told quite a few people this. Um, as I say, when you see it, even though you know how it's done, I mean, I know how it's done, I've done it. But, it fooled your brain a bit. And I'm sure anyone else that has seen it will agree with me. You know, because when you see an engine when you take the spark lead off, it's not supposed to keep going, even though you know how it's done. Well, the only way I can describe it to you is uh, a long while ago now, I was oh, early teens, and I, I think it, it was at an air show, I went to with my father, we didn't go to many, I think I only went to one, long way away. Anyway, I saw a Harrier for the first time hovering, and it wasn't that far in front of us. Now, <laughs> To see an aeroplane stationary in the sky is not right. You know, it doesn't make sense. Even though, you, you know, I was old enough to know how it was done. So, 
I'll tell you what, this thing runs that rich, it's absolutely wet through inside. However, I'm going to have to get my glasses and, and have a look, a close look at this. At my little spark plug there. I think we've got enough light for you to see it. And I'm not sure what went wrong, but it stopped sparking. But yet that doesn't look too bad, but the insulation has burnt back in the head. I'm not sure we've got enough light for you to see that actually. But that's what's happened. It is the insulation that's failed. And so, anyway, uh, as I say, I'm looking at this head. And what I've got to do, I've ordered a very small spark plug. What I've got to do, I'll take these spacers out that I made. And uh, just see if it comes right, if we can get a very small spark plug in the head. Because there's not a lot of meat. Right, I hope you can see some of this. I'm carefully taking the gasket off. And I'm, I'm just curious because you, you know that this engine actually it ran a lot longer than what I thought it would. Um, it's run for I don't know. I took it to mouth, give it a demo. I've run it several times, I've run it a few times, I've not even videoed. And uh, that cardboard gasket I made hasn't failed, so I'm leaving that on. However, as I say, I'll try and just show you a bit more because I think one or two might be a bit interested in this. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, let's have a look. Well, now can we see better under this light or not? Where, where are we looking? Um, there, right. I'm not sure. Got the light here. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see. But what it is, the electrode there, well it looks like the insulation's gone back inside. I mean it could be, I it could be that that's moved. I don't know anyway, I'm gonna pull this out. And uh, there, it comes out very easily, you see. Well, that's not very burnt. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me um, try and show you quite a close-up. Put my hand there, it might focus on it, I don't know. Right, can you see? That's not actually that burnt, is it? It could just be a fouled up, like a fouled up plug, you know. It could be as simple as that. In fact, I think the best thing to do with this is to, if I, if I can, I'm going to push it on a bit more to give me a little bit more out the back. I don't want a lot more because that went in and it stayed in and I think I can push it in a bit more but that insulation looks pretty good and as I say I made it was here um, I got the inside of a plug what have I done with it well, that's a bottle I had it here a little while ago anyway um, took a plug to bits so I'm wondering if it's just like a Fouled up plug that stopped it. So, right, I'll just stop you there a second. All I'm going to do is push that on a little bit and we'll push this back and put it in and just see what happens. It probably won't work, it doesn't matter. As I said, it's a toy, isn't it? So let's have a play. Well, I've put that in again, as you can see. And I uh, bent it towards here. So we've got oh, 25 thou gap or so, I think, about there and the inside. 
So what I'll do, I'll just go down and put it back together. It doesn't take long, does it? Then we'll nip outside, as I say, I'm not going to be long, it's too blooming cold, but uh, going a lot colder tomorrow, apparently. And then uh, we'll give it a go. You know, it probably won't work. I'm not bothered. But it's just interesting to know, isn't it? So, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm interested to know. I'm not sure if you are or not. Right, see you in a few minutes. Well, that didn't take long. That's a good thing with these engines, especially when you've done them about a thousand times. Anyway, show you, look. I'm in cold out, so I've not been out long, but look what a lovely day it is. I'll show you the sky and the... It's a cracking day for taking photographs. In fact, it was clearer a bit earlier. Right, we'll just see if this goes. Now, remember, the other thing against it is... Uh, I mean, modern petrol, because it's only got a shelf life of two weeks or something, and it's a cold day, so we'll see if it goes. If it doesn't go, I'll just go inside. I'm not, uh, as I say, I'm just playing today. We're not too worried about that. Anyway, yeah, I'm not tired. I'll need them in a minute. So, I should have checked to see if we had a spark before. But the insulation isn't shorting out. Um, otherwise it wouldn't run. So there's no spark when I set the lead off, is there? So we can address that. But as I said, it was just worth a shot. Just for curiosity to see that this engine doesn't like running anyway. Definitely no spark there. So, and that's on, and it's not shorting out. So I won't say any more, but uh, I'm, it's really just to tell you I was I was going to wait until this plug arrived. I've ordered a plug that's supposed to be a small one. So it's a bit difficult to tell. So until it comes later in the week, I won't know. So then I might have something else to show you. But. Uh, it was worth, as I say, just to have a play and, you know, it's not be, not all lost because it's given me something to do and a bit of exercise, hasn't it? And now I can go and sit near the fire and edit the video. <laughs> we'll see what happens there, lads.